How's it going guys? Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we're gonna talk about interior modifications on the new edge Mustang. So that's the 99 to 04 Mustang. This one specifically is a 2001. So we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the interior mods that have been done to this car. So there is one modification that absolutely stands out when you look at the interior of this car, and that has to be the seats. I mean, these seats make the car pop. I mean, they're black with the red accents down the middle. And uh, when I was looking to purchase a new Edge Mustang, I wanted to look for one that had aftermarket seats because the seats in these cars, I mean, these are cars that are now over 20 years old. So the seats in them, uh, you know, are trashed and, you know, cracked and stained and all this stuff. So definitely aftermarket seats are the number one interior modification that, that I would do to the new Edge Mustang. I luckily was able to find one that already had the aftermarket seats. So I didn't have to drop the $1,000 plus dollars on them, but I absolutely love these seats. These seats are um, I guess similar to like a GT500 style seat that has the uh, racing stripes down the middle and they absolutely make the car pop. This car kind of has like a black and red theme going on. So it absolutely follows the theme perfectly. And I love these seats. They're comfortable. They have bolstering. They're absolutely perfect for this car. Now for these seats specifically, the driver's side seat has uh, electric adjustments on it. So right in the front, in the middle of the of the seat here, you can actually adjust the uh, forward and backwards and the tilt, um, which is kind of nice. And then the uh, passenger seat actually has a manual adjustment. It's not electronic like the, uh, like the driver's side one, which is not a big deal. I barely have people in this car anyways, so not a big deal, but um, it is really nice that it has electric adjustments on the driver's side. Now, the second interior mod that I would say is super easy and absolutely makes this car pop is the floor mats. Now these floor mats, they also came with the car. So I got really lucky in that sense because I would have probably put some cool ones in here anyways, but I like these. Um, they have the GT logo embroidered in red and it makes, it makes the floor pop. I mean, floor mats can be pretty boring. So, you know, just to have that GT logo on the floor there in red really makes the, uh, makes the floor pop and just something that, you know, is, is another attention to detail on this car. Number three on the list of interior mods that you should do to your new edge Mustang. And this one is very subjective, but I absolutely hate the way the stock steering wheel feels like it just feels very thin and flimsy and it just, I don't know, it doesn't look good. Uh, so what I did, um, there's one of two options, really. You can either remove and change the whole steering wheel, which number one can get expensive. And number two, then you have to modify um, to either get the airbags in the aftermarket steering wheel or just run without airbags, which can be dangerous. You know, it's a, it's a safety feature. Uh, so what I opted for, which was number one, cheaper. And number two, I kept the airbag. Uh, was just putting a steering wheel cover on the uh, steering wheel and I'll drop the link to the steering wheel um, It's not an affiliate link or anything. I'll, it's just the, the one I got um, But I've had a couple people ask me about the steering wheel cover before it looks sick It has the little red racing stripe on it So it looks pretty sporty and you know, it has like an Alcantara feel on the sides and it just makes the steering wheel feel a lot thicker and nicer to the touch and basically your hands are on the steering wheel the whole time you're driving the car so you want to make sure that it feels nice uh whatever you're touching you know when you're driving the car so i think this steering wheel cover not only does it match all the red accents in here but it absolutely feels super nice in my hands so i think that is one of the top modifications that you can do to these cars now a lot of people are like purists and just want to leave the car perfectly stock and that's fine i'm not one of them so i think this uh, mod absolutely improves the looks and feel of the car next on the list of interior modifications you can do to your new edge mustang has to be the shifter knob now you can really go all out with these they have so many different kinds you can really get creative and make it your own but you can customize these whether you have an automatic or a stick shift i think they have more options for the stick shift cars uh but right now i have kind of like an aluminum or or, or billet uh stick shift knob um on there and what i have found i have another knob which is like a black uh black and red knob kind of follows the theme of the car um but what i don't like about that one is when i'm grabbing the ball the actual shifter knob you can actually feel the thread of of you know what's underneath 
the knob you can actually feel that with your hands which doesn't feel very comfortable uh this aluminum shifter knob actually has like a like a sheath or like a cover underneath it um which actually protects your hand from you know grabbing onto the thread of the shifter uh which feels really nice so i've kind of stuck to this aluminum uh, billet looking one um which i really like it's a little bit smaller than i would like i would like my ball to be bigger <laughs> if uh that makes any sense i but you just kind of have to feel it out and see what feels nice for you um but i definitely recommend customizing this and making it your own and see which one you like next on the list of interior modifications that can be done to these new edge mustangs has to be the the shifter uh boot and the uh e-brake boot so basically these parts are made out of vinyl or leather and they get used and abused over the years so they start cracking and peeling and actually both of these parts on this car had to be changed because they were just cracking and nasty and ugly i mean think about on a stick shift car how many times you put the e-brake up and down when you're driving and then also how many times you shift gears so that's just wear and tear it's a very simple part to swap out i did have to sort of disassemble the uh the the center console area here to, to to change those out but it's a very simple process you can look up youtube videos on how to do it pretty simple um but it absolutely transformed the look of this car like i said they had um cracked and just they were old and brittle and and just flaking and nasty so um makes the car look really clean with the uh new uh boots on both of those parts on the on the shifter and on the e-brake the next part that you can actually modify on this car this one's a really tiny part but it actually makes it look pretty cool now this car when i bought it didn't have the uh 12 volt adapter uh cover on it so and i didn't really want to just stick a piece of plastic on there so i thought you know it might look cool to get like a aluminum piece or just something kind of cool that says something on it just to uh change things up but i found this little red piece that says fire missile and uh this car's already pretty aggressive looking so it kind of goes with the theme you know fire fire missile just kind of looks cool i don't know i liked it um you can get these in different that say different things i saw one that was pretty cool that said like eject um you know so you can like eject your passenger or whatever i don't know fast and furious type of thing um but these are pretty cool and it's a good way to add a little touch to your car with um you know something a little bit different next on the list of interior modifications that you can do to your new edge mustang has to be the pedals now this one has like a billet aluminum a racing style type of pedals um i've seen some really cool ones there's some red ones um that would kind of follow the theme of this car a little bit uh but yeah the uh, uh pedals can be customized you can find some really cool ones they have like carbon fiber ones and all this stuff um so you can customize that to however you like um i have a little bit of aluminum like with the shifter um on there so i i, I don't know it kind of goes with the flow a little bit i and you know i didn't want too much red just to make the car look uh tacky so i think the uh, billet aluminum pedals look really nice with the uh flow of the car the next aftermarket modification that you can do to your new edge mustang has to be the head unit now these are super customizable and they have so many different options and technology has gotten so advanced with these that you can get one for really cheap you can get one with like a rear view camera and all that stuff and this is actually on the list of modifications to do to this car um it's on 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 the top of my list uh but basically right now it has like a i don't know i would call it like an early 2000s kenwood uh head unit that has you know like the different uh color changing lights on it which is fine i mean i literally just plug in my uh my usb cable and connect my iphone and it works fine you know i can play music on it so it's not that big of a deal i'm not in a huge rush to change it but it would be nice to get one in there that has apple carplay and you know a bigger screen that would display the uh, gps on there and all that stuff so it's definitely on the list of things to do to this car and it'll definitely make it feel more modern uh but honestly just a little kenwood unit like this is fine uh but you can really customize these and make it your own and they sell all sorts of like uh dash uh trim panels that you can put on there and and really customize it to make it your own so um definitely on the top list of things to do to this car uh but the kenwood unit for now i'm gonna just run with it because 
uh, you know, uh, I don't know, some of the units I had been looking at with like the wireless Apple CarPlay and all that stuff are upwards of $500. So I didn't really want to drop $500 right now on a new unit when, you know, this one's perfectly fine. Yeah, it doesn't have a rear view camera. I have to turn my head and use my mirrors not a big deal now on the list of future modifications and let me know what you guys think in the comments below what else should i add to the interior of this car i think it is almost perfect like i really like the way it is right now um there are some modifications that could be done in regards to the uh instrument cluster like basically changing out you know to like white uh instrument cluster basically and uh you can also change out the leds um i have to look into that because that sounds really cool and i've seen some cars that have it done um that it just makes it pop but like you know changing the led lights in the instrument cluster to like blue or red or something like that um let me know if any of you guys have done that in the comments below uh really cool i would love to make a video on how to do that um but yeah those are just some of the things that have been done to the interior of this car let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, do you like some of the modifications that have been done to this car? Um, I would say my top one absolute favorite modification that has been done to this car has to be the seats with the uh, steering wheel cover being a close second. But the seats absolutely change the look and feel of this car. Um, makes it more comfortable. Makes it look so much more sporty. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more uh, new edge mustang content i have the mach -E, so we're making mach -E content and the f-150 ecoboost so we're going to be coming out with a lot more videos on all of these cars so make sure to stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video